And we're set to go. Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman feature ready for battle. Justin Gadbaugh on the pole in the 18G with the one of Paul DeRutter alongside. Row 2, Greg Brinkblow in the 707, 34K of Keegan Nyer. Row 3, Xavier Andrews, the uh, 0, 52, Jessica Power. Row 4, Tyler Corker in the 64, 18, Gavin Isley. Row 5, Brendan Moore, 35, 32, Ryan Shanahan. Row 6, Fox 28, Tyler Stevenson, the 33, Richard Murtaugh. Row number 7, Dustin Hutton, the 70, 92, Frank Sibley. Row number 8, Eric Dyer, 34, 410, Mike Fowler, the point leader. Row number 9, Steve Roberts, the 5R, the 621G, Trevor Givens. Row number 10, Josh Riome, the 91, alongside of the 2, Taylor Dockstater. Row 11, Dave Rogers in the 44, 33 of Alan McDonald. Dylan Moore in the 35D, Jake Granker in the 114, and Jonathan Murphy all scheduled to go in this one. 22 cars. Set for white this time by green next trip around. So far this season in the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman Division, April 26th, it was Tyler Corcoran. May the 3rd, it was Ryan Shanahan. Xavier Andrews on May 17th. Mike Fowler on May 24th. Taylor Knox, State of Career Win number one on May 31st. June 7th was Josh Riom. Tyler Stevenson one week ago on June 14th. Who will win tonight? We're going to find out as the Bob Johnson Auto Group Pace Truck. Heads off the speedway. Turn number three. Greg Brinklow on point. Paul the rudder alongside. 20 laps. Green lights are on. We're underway. Greg Brinklow jumps into the race lead. Xavier Andrews, Paul the rudder at each other for second and third as they work the back straight away into turn number three and four. Out to complete lap number one. Greg Brinklow working that inside lane. He'll hold the spot as they come back down to the stripe this time by Paul DeRutter on the outside, battling with Xavier Andrews as well. And a turn number one and two. Down the back straightaway. It's Paul DeRutter, your new race leader, as he hit the back stretch. 707 to Brinklow back there to position number two with Xavier Andrews right there with him, battling from position number three. Tyler Corcoran up to fourth. 18 to Gavin Isley. Trying to get around Keegan Nyer to move up a spot as they head up into turn number one and two. But Paul DeRutter, the driver to beat right now as they're working down the back straightaway. And Keegan Nyer, he moves his way up into the top five. Looking through the back of the field, Eric Nyer trying to four wide move. He had two tires into the infield trying to make a pass. Couldn't quite get there though as Dustin Hunt was right there to challenge him. But down across the line, lap number three up on the leaderboard of Paul DeRutter. Loves this outside lane around KM Speedway. He's used it his entire career here. And 
Right now he holds on to the lead, about a four car length advantage over the 707 of Brinklow, battling with fellow Kingston native Xavier Andrews for the number two position right now. Tyler Corcoran sits back there in the four spot. 34, King and I are up to fifth. Jessica Power having a good solid run in the early going. She's up to sixth. Gavin Isley has backslid in this field just a little bit. Isley falling back to position number seven. He was challenging for a top five spot early on. Right now battling with Jessica Power for the number six position as they work it down off a turn number three and four and back to the stripe. Xavier Andrews going after Greg Brinklow for the number two spot and Andrews is going to get it down the back straight away as Tyler Corcoran looking for a top three position. He's looking to get around Greg Brinklow for the spot as they work it up into turn number three and four and back down to the line this time by with Paul Rudder still in control. Xavier Andrews has now made his way into second. Brinklow not giving up against Corcoran and Andrews here as they work it off a of turn number two and Brinklow goes back to the number three spot. They hustle down the back straight away into turn number three and four. Fifth spot still up for grabs between Jessica Power and the 18 of Gavin Isley as they both work that inside and outside lanes off of turn number three and four. Power with the preferred group down on the bottom lane. Isley trying to work that outside lane to try to go to the front. In the meantime, Paul DeRutter, he's skating off the top side of the back straight away. Opens the door for Xavier Andrews to sneak through on the bottom lane. Andrews trying to plank that zero out in front of the field as they work it back to the line this time by in lap number eight. Lap eight, Xavier Andrews goes to the point as they work it into turn number one and two. Paul DeRutter now to second as the battle for third between Brinklow and the 64. Tyler Corcoran goes on. Jessica Power right there with these two drivers in spot number five. Brinklow not going away. In the meantime, Xavier Andrews still has the lead. He's got Alan McDonald in front of him. He'll get by with no problem there into turn number one and two. As Paul DeRutter follows right in his tire tracks, he'll slide by McDonald down the back straight away as Tyler Corker trying to find the way by the lap traffic. He does just that. Slides down in front of Brinklow to move up into third. Jessica Power waiting back there in the five spot, trying to find a way around Greg Brinklow down off a of turn number four with 10 in the books. Lap 10, Xavier Andrews trying to win for a second time this year. Nobody this season has won more than once. We've had seven races in the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman Division. Seven different winners. Xavier Andrews trying to end that streak here tonight as they come back to the line with nine to go. Paul DeRutter having one of the best runs of his Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman career. Holding on to second, Tyler Corcoran. Sitting back there in position number three, Greg Brinklow still having a battle with Jessica Power for position number four. Gavin Isley moving back in. He's trying to close in and battle with these two drivers in front of him. He holds on to sixth. Seventh is still Keegan Nyer. Brendan Moore up to eighth. Ninth is Ryan Shanahan and Eric Nyer. Rounds out the top ten. We'll have 13 laps in the... Oh, we got the 114 of Jake Graniker around right in front of the field here. Yellow lights are on. Jake Graniker turned it around over there in turn number four all by himself. Gets it back going again. Gets it refired. Graniker last year came to Can-Am and in his only start last year, picked up a feature win in the Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman class, but making the jump into the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman division this year. Caution lights are on, 12 laps complete, eight more to go. Basically, heat race is all that's left right now, and Xavier Andrews trying to park in a victory lane for a second time this year. As I mentioned, seven different winners in the first seven races here at Can-Am in the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman. Andrews last one here on May the 17th. Paul DeRutter has never won in this particular division. He's won several races in the limited sportsman class. Tyler Corcoran, we all know what he's done in this di division over the last four years. Track champion every year since 2020. Jessica Power been quite a while since she's been to victory lane here at can -Am. wants to end that dry spell here tonight. Greg Brinklow would love to get his first career win. 
Kevin Isley trying to build on that momentum after that win at Brockville last Saturday night. Holding on to sixth. Keegan Nyer continues to impress. He's holding on to position number seven. Brennan Moore, second in points tonight, coming into the feature go. He is just ahead of his title rival, Mike Fowler, struggling tonight, just sitting outside the top ten, running an 11th. As I mentioned, Brennan Moore is eighth. Ninth is Ryan Shanahan and Eric Nyer. Rounds out your top ten. 12 down, 8 to go. KM Speedway Pace Truck from Bob Johnson Auto Group headed to the pits off of turn number 3. LeClaire looks him over. Paul DeRutter way out in front there on this restart as they come back to the line. Xavier Andrews gets the hammer though. We're back underway. Andrews goes to the lead as they work in through turns 1 and 2 and down the back straight away. Tyler Corcoran, Jessica Power now up to second and third, and Jessica Power is not done. Going after Tyler Corcoran for the runner-up spot as they come down to complete lap number 13 with seven to go. 13 in the books, Andrews still in control. With Tyler Corcoran right there nipping at his heels down the back straightaway. Jessica Power is not out of this one. Now Paul DeRutter is under attack from Gavin Isley who fell back as far as about the eighth spot in this one, has rallied his way back up towards the top yellow, five. Yellow, and we are going to go yellow once again. Stevie Roberts, slow off a of turn, number two, yellow lights back on. So we're going to line this field up again. 13 down, seven more to go. Xavier Andrews in the zero. Made claim that he was going to be running here every single week with us in 2024. The decision was a good one, that's for sure. laps are down. Can Andrews hold on? Break that string of different winners? Or will Tyler Corcoran do the same thing here shortly? Jessica Power, Paul DeRutter, Gavin Isley, they have yet to win here this season. See if they can break the trend or break the stranglehold on the top two drivers right here. Xavier Andrews fires first off of turn number four. We're back to green. Xavier Andrews once again, a great restart, trying to slide up in front of Tyler Corcoran. Corcoran trying to cross over, move off of turn number two. Jessica Power right there to battle as well. Into turn number three and four, here comes Tyler Corcoran after Xavier Andrews for the lead. Up off of turn number three and four. Corcoran to the bottom, Andrews on the top side as they drag race to the line. Corcoran to the lead in lap 13. Corcoran trying to fend off Xavier Andrews for the number one spot. He's got it down the back straight away. Now Jessica Power trying to pull in and trying to take that two spot away from Andrews. Here comes Gavin Isley. He's working the extreme outside lane, trying to get to the number two spot. Here comes Power looking for a second on Andrews down the front straight away with five to go. Yep. 
And Jessica Power trying to take it away down the back stretch into turn number three and four, battling with Xavier Andrews for position number two, and Power has it into turn number three and four. She'll try to get to the back bumper of Tyler Corcoran up off the corner this time by, we got four laps left to go. Four more remain, Gavin Isley trying to move in on the zero of Andrews down the back straight away, and Eric Nyer has charged into the top five in the late going. Right now, working through turn number three and four, Tyler Corcoran with a comfortable lead on Jessica Power. Down the front straight away, we got three to go. Three laps to go. And Tyler Corcoran trying to add another Can-Am trophy to his impressive resume as they work into turn three and four. Gavin Isley off the pace in turn number three. Brings it back on, lost a little bit of ground there. Not sure what happened. The car stumbled on him or something into turn number three. We'll keep our eye on him as he comes down across the line with two to go. Isley will try to get that momentum going, but right now all the momentum in the Tyler Corcoran camp right now into turn number three and four. White flag will be displayed for Tyler Corcoran. It has been a while, April 26th of this year since Tyler Corcoran last won at the Canium Speedway. Into turn number one and two and down the back straightaway. He's got a half straightaway lead on Jessica Power as they work it up into turn number three and four. And off of corner number four, the first two-time winner of the season, it's Tyler Corcoran in victory lane again. Jessica Powers second, Xavier Andrews, Eric Nyer, and Gavin Isley rebounds for a top five finish.